I have a hunch. If you stay strong in the Lord, stand for righteousness, I believe other nations will start coming here and asking, what are you doing that's different? You will have divine favor. And I, for one, will be quite excited to have said, I've walked on that land. And I think this is the last one. Yes, it is. Innovation and creativity. You have riches you haven't yet discovered. Hmm. New developments in your identity and your commerce. Could be new flavors for yogurt. <laughs> there is wealth sharing across the nation. Prudence to produce much from little. And understanding godly stewardship. Right, so, um, let me, I'm just going to skip through these. If you want to see the sign of God's kingdom, there are three issues. A commitment to the land. Let me explain that just a little. The demonic realm sits on the land and it influences the people who dwell on that land. Okay, I covered in some part that the first session this morning. There will be a cleansing of his ecclesia. That means instead of just being religious or traditional, you'll actually come into a vital relationship with the Holy Spirit. And thirdly, there will be the removal and exposure of all the hidden agendas. Institution there. We've got drug running there, and he would point to the map and show where the problems were. The citywide intercessors then were given a photocopy of where the problems were, and they prayer walked those areas. I should point out the chief of police is not a Christian. Yet. <laughs> and the following week, he would say, well, we've done arrests in those areas. They're cleaned up, and now they've moved over to here. So for those of you who have an intercessory gifting, this is something you need to be thinking through. How will we change our suburb or our community or our village. The Lord just reminds me of an event many years ago. A prophet of God in a meeting of about a thousand people. He was seated behind me and he stood up and began to speak as he walked down the aisle. Now pay attention to what I'm about to report to you. He said, you've read in my word 
that wherever you plant the soles of your feet, that you will have. Then he added this. But I also say to you, wherever you do not plant the soles of your feet, you will not have. God is asking us, actually he's commanding, but he's nice. He's, he's asking for us to love our neighborhoods enough to prayer walk them. I'll tell you the short version of this story. A widow in my country. For five years with no one telling her to do this. She walked down one side of her street. She began praying for salvations for every home. And then after a while, that wasn't quite the right thing. Maybe they needed a job or they needed healing. After five years, her pastor was just sort of feeling the Lord said, stick pins in a map to show where the folks in the congregation come. He discovered that everybody on that side of the street had come to the Lord. And they'd all come to that church. So when he went and interviewed this dear old lady about what she did, she had no idea that she had probably been the instrument of it. But the pastor's one request was, would she now mind walking down the other side of the street? Every believer can expel a demon. If you haven't had practice yet, ask your pastor for training. And if he won't train you, he or she, start by doing deliverance on them for a religious spirit. I'm in trouble. <laughs> the more deliverance that you do on individuals, the more you will weaken the principality over your city or your nation. 